the move second to go in his eighth session for non elected personnel for 10 minutes. All in favor say aye. Okay. I make a motion that we go into the executive session for 30 minutes to discuss non elected personnel. To include Marshall, Marshall Davin, Nita, and Mike. Second. Okay. The move second we go into executive session for 30 minutes to discuss on non elected personnel. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. For co fire chief, yeah, so co, co now you're assistant fire chief now, co fire chief, and let's put that on a six month term until May 1st, and then we we'll revisit the deal. And with that, I would like to uh, pay him a salary of $500 a month. Second, okay, it's been moved and second that we appoint Marshall as co fire chief with an with a uh, a salary of five hundred dollars a month. I'm to say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Gear. How many? What kind? Real quick before we get on that, can I clarify something real quick? The five hundred dollars a month. He is a district chief in St. John as well, and they get that two hundred dollar a month stipend. So this is I, just on top of that. I just wanted to make sure he'll continue to get that. Yep. yep, that's on top of that. How many sets of gear do you got to? We've got it. Yeah. 61 is the total. Yes. So we're talking 25 last meeting. Right. And then 61 is the total. And an additional 36. 36. So the 25 has been ordered? He will be here today. So we increase that to 61. We get a better price. That's the same price. And we're going with bunker gear. Just straight bunker gear would be the same as what you guys approved last time at the 25 years. And that's the 285750. Uh, not including shipping. Right. Yeah, the one that I gave you guys, the new one. This one here, the one that is yours. But that's just the freight for the 36. That's right. So we need to come up with another $104,418. Right. We had thought that we would pull it from the reserve. Fire and then after the first of the year, that's how we designated 60,000 60, for 65 per year that we would roll that back into the reserve. When do you think we need to start looking at the air tanks and stuff? We are going to get together. We've already started discussing that. Um, we're going to get together with the chiefs and we're going to get a, a plan for not only the air packs, but bunker gear. So we will have a plan for replacing all of that. Do you have any idea on that air packs? I think we still have five years left. Okay, so this is not something that we're looking at over eighty thousand next year. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. So we can build the money up. Right, we can build right. the money up, but we'll get a replacement plan so that we're not replacing all the air packs at the same time. I want to copy your plan so I can get to the auditor so she can project ahead. Now, are these tanks barcoded, or obviously they have a serial number? Well, so is there a quick way to identify what the age of the tank is so we don't say, uh-oh, we've got 10 over here that... Yeah, they've all got a date on it. They've all got a stick They have an date. expiration date on it. Manufacturer. Manufacturer date, yeah. And it's easy to read if they're out. 15. 15. 15. 15 on tanks, for sure. 15 okay. for manufacturer? Right, so the way it happens is when they make the tanks, that it's hydro tested there at the factory. We have three hydro tests per bottle and five years in between each hydro test. I'm ready for you. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'll make a motion that we buy 36 sets of bunker gear. 
from uh, emergency response solutions for the grand total of $104,418. Okay, so move the second. We'll go ahead and purchase 36 more bunker gear from First Response Solutions for $104,418. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. What's the expected delivery date on this? I will speak with him. Like I said, he's going to be up here between 3 and 5. This evening, he'll be here all this evening. This technique, what do you measure? Is that what you and everybody goes to kind of. That we sent out a message yesterday to all the fire departments, all those who know it. And then they need to make arrangements to get things to do. Where you guys have talked at the Chiefs meeting about guys that show up for a lot of fires and start wearing their gear out in six or seven years, replacing their gear and then keeping their gear back for the newer firefighters. Newer people. I like that idea instead of the idea of throwing gear away that's got three or four years. So we well, that's that's part of the, the plan that we're going to be working on with you in six years and we're replacing high use gear with new gear. That way we don't do this at one time again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. give it up to anybody because if anybody uses it got burned up it'd right. be our fault right, right. Yeah. 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 you may ask you may ask that and this is just an idea I mean I think they do plays school plays at Stafford school plays at St. John you may ask the people that's in charge of that what they like Two or three helmets, two or three coats. If they do a better firefighter, it'd be good gear. Right. But other than that, I don't see how you could put any gear in it. But, uh, I think we have an issue. It's not a cut in salary, but it's just where your salary is coming from. When Moody was here, he was the EMS director, fire director, and uh, emergency preparedness director. And so 40% came from EMS, 40% came from fire. 20% come from emergency preparedness. Uh, I think where you're basically over the fire and just he's over the EMS, we'll probably do we need to take leave any in the EMS or just take all of them? We'll take so the 40 that comes out of the EMS, the 40 that comes out of the EMS will now come out of fire. And then instead of 20% of your salary coming out of emergency preparedness, 10%. So do I need to make that as a motion for doing that? Uh, All right. I make a point of clarification. Uh, I think this started with the Okay. I think it was from Bolt was here. I guess it's he true. was wearing all four hats. Okay. And at that time, they were considered the EMS fire and the purpose director. I make a motion that we change where the money comes from for the fire directors salary it needs to come 90 percent of the fire department 10 percent of the person purpose i did a little type of regular i've done this too many years it's like playing cards with stock if you're at the school day before the kids are in play uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then the second that uh, we change around the budgeting for the salaries all paper say i i motion carry anything else Okay. You're lucky, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, where is it? Yeah, yes. uh, Amy's going to be a little bit. Yeah, I told Amy to put it back to tea. Why are the two sets of You have your regular minutes and your special meeting. Oh, good. Perfect. I make six. a motion that we accept the. Stafford County Commissioner meeting for November 7th. Second. It's been minutes, second. We accept the minutes of November 7th. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.
I make a motion that we accept the Stafford County minutes for the special meeting on November 7th. Second. Move and second. We make out the minutes for the special meeting on November 7th. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Then we need a tax roll. No. Huh? No? Oh, that's just that. Inside the round top. They, yeah, the, There's the a tractor two tractors and um, are inventory in yeah. their case state. Okay. And it's, uh, lots of that equipment is, has case state inventory numbers. Okay. Some, of it, some of it has case state inventory numbers that are not on their inventory. So some of that might be an issue. Oh, every 50 years they start dropping some of them. <laughs> I don't know. But I just want it cleaned up. I'm sure you're ready to have it all cleaned up. 
and it's not secure in any way. None of it's insured. And so, I just like to get it done. Yeah, yeah. So, that's where we're at. So you are now the proud new owner. Well, and the green bins. And the green bins. I can't imagine they could have had that in their own Because it was a test plot, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that used to be the poor farm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the other, I think those green bins had to have been there at one time. But and they the, have no record of it. And the weather station is still there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is I haven't heard any of them. Do you remember two or three weeks, four or five times? What? Do you remember Christopher Wren? I don't remember the name of Sam. I think there's a lot of them. Do you think there's a lot of them? Do you think there's a lot of them? I remember one of them. Maybe if they could work together. Be I don't know. Yeah, the no, no, no. And I've heard many times. Yeah, my mom and dad used to tell me that. <laughs> You're going to be my reporter in the fourth one. Well, I'm going to be So, what are we going to do? Well, recess. More stuff to do with it. Oh, since you guys just said that, I'm going to find somebody. If you could go find somebody, you'd put the cards all right here. Yeah. 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 The Sandy Land, the K States basically turned the granary and the round top down there over to us. They're going to sell all the machine up for the way. They came up with an inventory like the machinery that's sitting outside. They were wondering if we could mow an area and then take a loader and set it over there where they get pictures of it. Would you guys be able to do that? Do we have mowers down there? Do we have mowers down there? She said there's a mower and a grill down there. They are no, asking. Just, if they did, it's not our. It wouldn't be Ryan's. He doesn't have a mower. Here's what they were asking. Ryan with 3.5 acres. Mm -hmm. They want to know if they can there's none on the inventory for Ryan. He would have had to have a tractor because those are 3.4. So I'd go down there as well. You guys have that 3.4 motor. As long as I've worked, I'm going to have a Well, they used to have a simple mower. <laughs> <laughs> and they had, they, they, that was gone long before I got it. And then you had, had size. Yeah. Which would be kind of handy at times. Yeah. 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 I would like to have one. But you just don't see them anymore. Well, that tractor was three point eight. I bet anything was three point eight. I bet I would bet anything it was thirty one. It was probably it was probably more than two plots. But there's no there's no sticker on it. In case they have been accepted, we'll put on a purple and say I didn't run it to purple and clean today. So we're clear on that we do not own the dollars unless you want to double check on that. Are you reason? But they're not on this. Oh, that's okay. Okay. All right. So that's what they needed to know. Um, but yeah, the buildings, great bins, we're gifting to you. I'm like, yes. <laughs> you want to call it that? <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then if we could get that moved so they could come out. Take pictures for Purple Wave, and then if people kind of look at it, we'll have to take them out there. Well, I'm telling you, I'll talk a little bit about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to be back in town. I'll be sitting on the northwest of the area. I don't think we're going to have a good start. Okay. All right. Yeah, take the chain saw, too. Yeah, there is a tree growing up through one of the implements. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. I think what they're mow out a spot and take the loader and sell it over there. Instead uh, of trying to weed it up and around and under, it would be easier to set them up. Yeah, because some of it's clear out, if not clear out, but it's still there. Yeah. Yeah.
Salt shed out here have a concrete floor. No, it has an asphalt floor. Remember that thing there has the asphalt? I mean, you're building up there, so it's kind of sketchy. If we build a new one, or do we want to take that salt and sand out of town? We can build a structure around the concrete that's there. Some of them have built chicken or cement water. We don't really have a deal. You just put a hoop over the uh, and and there are project costs. Sometimes it's just right. Whatever the state got me at the time. I'd like you to take at least take a pretty good look at that one top and look at the whole thing and see if there's something. You know, even if the shed's not any good, you can do everything with the concrete. You know, so just turn it over that. And I would think that we ought to put those green bins on the void if we don't get a bit on. Well, I thought they tried to sell some green, green. Oh, we already did some. We did some years ago. But that was just through a local. Yeah, we advertised yeah. them. And we filled bids. And yeah, I guess you could always just talk for a boy. We haven't had one since that happens. I mean, that's an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. I have seen some of those green bins. I think we ought to, before we just turn it down, I think we ought to at least run a sealed bid in the paper. Because I don't want somebody to go, well, I would have done this. Well, then you have it more purple with it, then boss you down. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And I don't know for all months. You know, I, I do know they still want to try to put in a range down there just for items. Mm -hmm. And I, in that, I understand. They, have, so they, they, you know, they, want, they probably want to go to the target, so I'll kind of go to the other. Other sort of things. Oh, yeah, car on those Yeah, like C, C train or Yeah, they are definitely secure and they are waterproof. Mm -hmm. That's why they're secure. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. We're sure we're going to do a lot of them. Yeah. So, evidently, the those containers are going to be so long that I like them for the There's uh, some that are long trip. Really? Yeah. Somebody will buy one to ship some over here and then they sit early each one time. They're one of my It is. Which I mean, they're going to be pretty tough. It's sealed up to keep it. Because it does not take much to start the last one. They're going to put some of the water in the But they must have a really good building on there. Because I've never seen any other that's totally the rest of that. Have we shut the courthouse down and let the courthouse gals go home because of the income? It bag. has to be horribly, horribly bad. Yeah. We've done it a few times, but not. So if they, if they, uh, 
if it was bad, mm -hmm. and you let the courthouse gals go home three hours, the guys down in the county, they got to stay because it's their job. So then at some later point, do they get three days off since the courthouse gals got three days off? Three days? Or no, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, miss, I miss do, do they get the As same far one? as equal hours, you know, later on sometime. Yeah, Mark. I was asking about it, and I can find out. Yeah. I mean, they brought it up like a thing. I was like, I don't know how that works. <laughs> oh, never happens. It always <laughs> happened all out of the Only one, I've never worked Christmas in four years. Yeah. When I have a little Thanksgiving. Well, if they come in and have to work those days, they're getting paid time and a half. So, no, it's, it's that's a strange creature. It's so, <laughs> but they're getting paid extra. But, but time. yeah, they and I think what they, they were, what they, so. what they, what the person was talking to me about it was saying, well, the guy was in the courthouse got three hours off because they shut the courthouse off, even though they went home, they got paid for those three hours. So do we get three hours extra pay, or do we get three hours off? You know, take off early one day. It rarely happens. Sometimes we always try to run at least a skeleton crew. Life is. Yeah. What are we close to? Twice. It hasn't snowed that much since 20 years. Oh, everyone. Somebody's been close to that one year. Quite, quite a bit. But, I mean, that's something special. But we've kind of learned since yeah. then that if you're in town, you're going to stay at work. Look, we usually send the out of towners home. And that's actually a big part of it. If the school closes. Oh, no, you know, you'd be on the busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we, and it takes Rob and Philip and, uh, well, me too now to say, we want to school and everything. Oh, good. It, I mean, it's it's not a, not something we take like yeah. No, we don't want to see people on the five o'clock and we'll start Right. If, well, blizzard, if, if it starts I mean, nice and real bad, we said yeah. So would you just call us and say, you know, it's kind of oh yeah, we, just we, kind we of contact you guys yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. It's not something that, like, so we don't take it like we're going to do it. But. And actually, it starts, starts with the sheriff. Say, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they asked me, I asked you, and we're all good now. <laughs> 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 it starts with I'll the sheriff. I'll get the policy if we don't. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Right. Yep, I'll tell you what that will be there for next couple of weeks. Next week. So use your imagination. I think that ramp off from the music so needs to go. It needs to make things that blow some. I bet it's the skylights are blowed out of probably just need skylights to blow out. And, and yeah, I would not show it so I should have found it. I mean you know you you said about it just turn it on as you turn it on. We can get something like that. It's not too bad. Is my cat? Yes, he is. Very good. Can the guy do it that's not here now? I will answer that. I can still hear a person. Yeah. It's almost like it's all true. You know, there's a lot of people who like to put this in the bottom. They have fans. Like they have fans. Pretty nice, great. Oh, well, you know, yeah. the raise them up about four feet. Oh, did they have blowers on those? There was blowers on those. I think fans. there's blowers and there's some agitator thing yeah. that yeah. Really? Yeah. circulates the grain. So there used to be some of there. Some of them had a flat bottom. Like it looks like yeah. that gravel and jet. It worked 10 fish or more. Actually, it had an auger that was in there and things go over that. But it's a flat yeah. But once it got toward the bottom, well, that thing really go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you better start climbing out of there. I wish mine was. I had to push mine to get to move. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do you notice for the National Association of Counties, do you want to join again? It's $150. Put them right there. Okay. What is that? Nico. That's the National Organization. National Association. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah. 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 Ye
you have to have four people go over that amount, excluding those that we already know are going to go over that amount. Those laser individuals, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. Um, so, really, what it boils down to is those numbers that we discussed uh, before. My recommendation at this point is that they are giving you enough of a, a credit to do that, that option two and moving to that 50000 makes sense. Um, or they wouldn't be giving you that much credit um, from a stop loss proposal standpoint. Okay? So, so if you go down to the from a maximum cost standpoint, if you go down to the very bottom, you can look at that your, um, you are looking at about a $42,000 overall increase for 2019. That is taking your, the, about 15 of that is on the annual specific at the very top, the bowl at the very top section. Um, there's another about 2500 and 600 on the aggregate premium. The attachment point, which that attachment point is what you fund to for claims, that was about 14, and then there was about the words of the attachment point. The attachment point is the aggregate factors. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one there is going up. So, and how they set that is they, they look over your last three years. And they give more credit to the current year, and they give a little bit less credit to last year, a little bit less to the year before. And they said, okay, this is what I, we think they will spend next year. And then they put a 25% corridor on top of it. Because you don't want to hit it, and you don't want, they don't want you to hit it. You don't want to be able to hit it. Um, you, get, you all haven't hit that number. You haven't hit that number in a year. I mean, as far as long as I've been coming up here, we have not hit that number. So that number is just kind of a, an overall protection. Um, that sleep insurance is what, what I call it. We do have that just horrible, horrible year. Um, but anyway, so we had talked last time that you had your reserves built up, that your, your reserves are more than about a year and a half worth of claims. And so really you're at a point now that it may not, because I think you fund to, if you look at these numbers down in the bottom left hand corner, you really kind of fund to those right now. And you would, I would be very comfortable continuing to fund to those numbers for this, this next year. And if you would need to use some of your reserves, then that's when it would be a good time to use that. So that way you could just leave the, leave the funding and the budget alone from that standpoint, or the, the budget for your health insurance, just leave it flat, right where it is. Right? It, it absolutely makes sense to do that at this point. And I would, still, I would still say that based off of your experience, there's a good chance that with that, that your reserve still goes up even in that scenario, based off of this right here. So that would, that would be my first recommendation is taking option two, but continuing to fund with what is underneath current down at the line. And what that does, that means that you're going to put $40,000 less into the fund and you would just use reserve if you need it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. They've already approved this once. Right. Do I need to sign no. this? And yes, that's the one. That Oh, did I already get this signed one to Kathy? Okay, all right. Then I don't need that one okay. resigned. Okay. So on this estimated expected cost, where you were talking about funding, what number are you talking about? I'm talking right now, you are funding to this number right here. This number? That's what you have been funding, and, and you've been funding to that, or to whatever that number is from a maximum standpoint, is what you have been funding to. Okay. And what my suggestion is this year is. Take this quote and, and get these get the savings on the fixed costs. Yeah. But let's only fund to this number here. Only fund to that number right there. Okay. So and, and you've got the reserves for a year. And, and you know what? If we spin that and then next year we look at it, um, then you may want to bump it up a little bit. But if there's just no reason to have more than a year and a half worth of claims. Because if we paid that extra forty, we just wouldn't be building reserves. Well, okay. There's a very good chance that would happen. 
and you're saying even if we do take the forty thousand dollars cut, chances are we're not going to dip into our reserves at all. I mean, well, let me, let me let me yeah. Let, so let me let me finish now. So I also had handed last time we were here, we talked about, um, and we may need to go into an executive session on this discussion for about probably ten minutes on this one. I make a motion that we go in the executive session for non-elected personnel. Uh, people that I would like here is the commissioners need a mic and Mike Minton. Second. Move and second. We go in the executive session for non-elected personnel for 10 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion to carry. That can happen with the dialysis program. And with that becomes eligibility for Medicare. Okay? And so providers try to keep people from taking it because they don't get paid enough from Medicare, or they don't get paid as much from Medicare. Right. And so you also need, from an employer standpoint and from the member standpoint, they want to take it because it's less out of pocket and be less towards the deductible and those kind of things. So we have a we have a dialysis program that only comes into play when um, and when we're we're wanting actually this is this is another thing that that uh, across the board that we're wanting to do it or with all of our groups is put in this program that will trigger it. And what it is is that um, uh, it, it, number one it protects you from large end stage renal claims that go on for years and years and years. There's a time if that person goes on Medicare, you all will stay primary, but then after 33 months, you become secondary to Medicare. And so then you, in, if that person who starts on that would wait, or let's continue on the plan forever, there's an eventual time where most of the claims aren't your responsibility at all. And then there's also, you need an advocate on this side working with the member to try to, to help them get through and get Medicare Part B signed up for because there's an advocate on the other side saying, no, 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 you don't want to do this because they want to keep getting as much money from you as they can, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so we have this program gets that member engaged, helps them get into the Medicare Part B, explains to them the risks they have because your plan once you would become, so let's say a member didn't go get Medicare, your plan is set up right now to pay secondary to Medicare down the road. And so if that member is eligible for Medicare and doesn't take it, they're going to be out of their pocket. They're going to be responsible for whatever Medicare doesn't pay. And so, it's, it, and so in our advocates walk them through that and explain to them, here's the scenario, this is why you have to go pay the $100 a month to get the Medicare Part B um, for this. If not, here's what could, could happen if you continue down the road. And so we've got an advocate that's working with them and, and helping them understand the true side of it, not just the dollar side from, from the provider standpoint. Um, and then um, um, what that does, that lasers, brings those lasers down. Um, we pay the, the, the provider, so once somebody's on Medicare, this program then doesn't look at the PPO network anymore. Because the PPO network, the way that is, is that the provider has agreed to use your PPO, which is provider's care, and they get paid based off of that agreement. Well, when we separate out the dialysis program, then we can say, no, 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 we're not going to use the PPO if it's not the best thing. We're going to use a Medicare Plus. So we'll pay the provider like Medicare Plus, plus another 40, 30 to 40 percent, which is above Medicare, gives them, it's, it's reasonable to give them that. But because the member has Medicare now, the provider can't balance billing. Because if you don't use a PPO network, or if someone goes out of network and we, the way that your plan pays, that if a member chooses for any services to go out of network, then they get can get balanced billed by that provider. But with an end stage renal disease, they can never be if they have Medicare in place. Your plan can pay um, 100. I'm just going to use 140 percent of Medicare, and then the member cannot be balanced billed. 
and we walk through that, this program walks through that entire place. There's no cost to this program whatsoever unless it's triggered. So there's no annual per employee per month or anything like that. And if nobody goes on medic or starts taking dialysis throughout the year or has the end stage renal, then they will, there's no cost to it whatsoever. If there, if, um, if someone does start doing that, we take that claim and we pay it at, a, at a, well, first of all, they're going to negotiate. They're going to say, okay, this is where our, our point is. Will you accept this? They say no, then they say, okay, then this is what we're going to pay you anyways. And they got Medicare, so you can't balance billing, so you're, you know, stuck with this. Um, and then they, and then the dialysis vendor that we use, which is called Zealous, they're, um, uh, it's Zealous slash Ethicare. It's a full-blown pro program that they get paid a percentage of the savings that they provide. So we're able to look at the PPO network and see if that's the best deal, which would be no cost to you. But if the if the Ethicare can get additional discounts and everything through the program with the member to where it's supposed to be, we have to pay them um, 15, it's typically going to be 15% of their savings. So if they save $10,000 additionally, or whatever that is past the PPO, we're going to pay them $1,500, or your plan will pay $1,500 to get that additional discount if there's $10,000 additional. Okay, it's kind of confusing, um, but it is a program that is an absolute must on your plan now. And we can't, we couldn't, if if you ever had somebody who was on dialysis, we can't just add it in to your plan at that point. It's now is the time that it, it needs to go into. Yep. There's no end stage renal um, diagnosis. We really just have to get them to accept it. Does she have to accept it? Oh, um, or is that something no, that we just put in? No, it, it goes into your plan, and then and then the dialysis partner start once once there is the diagnosis. Then there's an outreach. There's the communication with the doctor. It's basically a case management that happens specifically for this diagnosis is what happens. So if they started dialysis where you have the deal on air for up to 275000 if this plan takes effect, then would that drop back down to 125000 It's not going to drop down this year yes. just because we don't, number one, we don't know. They haven't started. Haven't started it yet. But you will see lower claim. I mean, you won't, you won't spend that additional $150,000. If someone started that, that those claims we're going to be talking are probably going to be around ninety. With this program in place, they're going to be around ninety thousand bucks. Is what we need. So you won't now next year if this is going, then that's going to it's going to be based off of the claims. So that number will come down considerably on this right here for for the following year. Does that make sense? Because yep. it's based off the claims that actually do happen this year. So is that an extra fee? Nope. That we pay? No extra fee unless it's used and it's based off of additional savings that the plan gets. So if we use the, P, let's say we use the PPO network and it's $150,000 for dialysis for that time period. There, the fee you're paying right now is a PPO fee and it's already in the built in. But if we use this program and we're able to get that 150 of claims down to, I'm just going to use 100. And so $50,000, they're going to ask for 15% of that $50,000. Instead of the 150 with the PPO, now we're paying 100 here because they're able to get a better deal than the PPO. They're going to ask for 15% of that $50,000, or that $50,000, so $7,500. So you're going to end up paying $1,107,000 versus $150,000. So really, there's no extra money out of your pocket. You pay for it based off the additional savings that they provide. Okay. Yeah. Um, you want to put this in place January 1, 2019 or today? Yep. January 1, 2019. Into your plan. Because that is not going to hit that before this. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. What if they happen to go on the house? December 15th? It's We'll, we'll be fine in that scenario. Okay. We're going to be fine. Look, right now, based off of what we have from a minute, the standpoint of discussion, 
Um, and in minutes from your meeting, and those kind of that this is going in place January 1, we're going to be perfectly fine. So do you need approval on that? Do we need um, a motion? I need a motion. Uh, Oh, you, okay. want to, you want to wait one second because okay. I think mm -hmm. we, we had talked last time about outpatient pre-certification mm -hmm. when I was here that, that that's getting added in to your plan this year and what that was is that it protects your members so because a lot of things now are outpatient versus inpatient they're not staying overnight and so they're you're running into with the, the hospitals or the physicians or the surgery centers or whoever it is are doing things without ever getting approval and then on the back side the members are having to fight because they're they stay you know let's let's say that they put an example i think i gave when i was here last time maybe was that we had one earlier this year where it was an outpatient back surgery and they used a non-fda approved device in that was supposed to be for the lower back and they used it in the in the lower neck region instead at the same and so it was not FDA approved for that procedure for a um, I think for an adult it was approved with a child but it wasn't approved for an adult and so they just did it without getting any approval what a, what outpatient pre cert does is uh, makes those doctors get that approval ahead of time so your members then don't get a, a letter saying hey sorry this isn't covered by your plan you know, it helps protect them, it helps protect your plan of that you know, not getting beyond that mm -hmm. and uh, our people not to and, and really that's that I had talked about before. That was that was what this on this page going from one ninety to two seventy five uh, to uh, that extra that eighty five cents down there, middle middle section mm -hmm. says the yeah. outpatient that we talked about that last time. That eighty five cents per employee. So really it's gonna cost you about forty bucks a month to do that. And it's going to catch a guarantee in this next year it's going to catch a handful of things that and maybe then the doctor just turns around and says well yeah we can do it this way that's what we normally see is say yeah if you're if that's not approved and it's not like we're not we're not we're not trying to deny people but it's if it's not FDA approved your plan doesn't pay for it you know that's really what the thing is so I would include dialysis in and out or the outpatient pre cert and the only other thing that I wanted to talk about, and I'm sorry I'm hitting you guys with a lot of stuff I finally got. Um, I had you all, from a prescription standpoint, have been with um, a company called Prescription Network of Kansas for a long time for 20 years. You've been here, and I just wanted to what we did is we wanted to do a repricing, go out to the market. I hired a consultant that understands the prescription world and said to them, hey, I need you to go out and look at our contracts, go look at our discounts, um, and I need you to lead us because this world is so crazy and changes so quickly. And so they went out and they went to a couple other pharmacy benefit managers and we did a repricing. We used all of the claims from 2017 because I started this in July. And so I wanted a full year of claims. And so if you look at your prescription drug claims, this is, does not include your one, um, uh, your one large prescription drug. This is everybody else. Spent about 80, you can see that there was about 1,500, a little $1,500 in prescriptions on current. The total ingredient cost, that is what basically the pharmacies get paid. The administration fees was a dollar per, per script for a total of $86,000. Now, if we took those same claims and we went to oh, the oh, I'm sorry. Total in green cost $87,000 and then the Oh, net. I'm sorry. And then you, then you get rebates back. You send, okay, you send, send it back to okay. I'm sorry. Yep, that's, no, just, that's, that's, where you, that's where you have to add those those middle two together and then subtract the third one, or the rebates, to get to $86,000. Okay, sorry, thanks for that catch. Um, so we went to two other PBMs out there. We went to MedTrack and we went to what's called ESI, which is Express Scripts. MedTrack Prescription Network is basically a Kansas PBM. Very good. They've done a wonderful job. They're super alum, depth, great customer service. MedTrack Space is also a Kansas space, but they're a larger PBM out of Overland Park that we've done business with for 15 years as well. 
and Express Scripts is a big national um, PBM, pharmacy benefit manager. And the bigger you are, the bigger rebates you get because that's how manufacturers determine how many rebates you get is by the quantity of, I mean, you know how it is in the, in the world. If you're White's Food Liner, you don't get as good a deal as buying your groceries as Walmart does, right? It's just in, in sheer volume. Same thing here. So if we look across here, you can see that the same, taking the same claims, the total ingredient con costs are about the same. They're not a whole lot. There is savings by going to MedTrack or Express Scripts. Um, and I'll talk about the two different MedTracks there in a second. But you have, but and there's no administration fees to hear how they, 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 they're not charging an additional dollar. And the rebates you can see go up tremendously. The standard, right here, if you see MedTrack, the first column for MedTrack, that would be taking your current plan and just mirroring it over to MedTrack. That just doing that alone would save about twelve thousand, or would give you an extra nine thousand five hundred dollars in rebates next year. Now the select is what I want to mention, and you're one of the last few that has that has your plan the way it is. The select now. There's always drugs out there that. Uh, what you're looking at here is called, there's a plan with MedTrack and with Express Scripts and even with Prescription Network that you have now that they call it the exclusionary list. There's some drugs that they will not cover, okay? And they won't cover them for one reason only, that there is a lower costing alternative that does the same thing, okay? I'm going to take an example from a diabetic standpoint. If you look right up here, this blood glucose monitoring, what I've given you here is how many, so this would be a list right now of people on your plan that is using something that would not be covered. Okay, so right now, like on the very first one, there are three people that are using a blood glucose monitoring that's called the contour. So there is a lower costing alternative than that. <coughs> Three people would have to make a change. What's the that? Eight the eight. That's the number of times that it's been filled throughout the, throughout that year, throughout 2017. So three people filled that eight times. Okay. Not eight times each. I mean, there was a total like one person could have done it twice, and the other okay. done it three times. Okay. Um, and so you can go down through here and you can see that, so that you would have three, four, five, on the utilizer, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There would be 14 scripts or utilizers that would have something that would have to change. Now, the beauty about the program is though, if there is a reason they cannot change, then they can stay on the drug that they're on, okay? It's called prior authorization. What happens is, is that how the program works is that if you made the switch to MedTrack, then MedTrack is a 90-day grandfather where everybody can go out and fill their scripts the first 90 days, and then they're going to get a letter in the mail saying, hey, just an FYI, this is no longer going to be covered by your plan, and here's an alternative. Take this to your doctor and see if this will work. 90% of the time, the doctor says, yep, absolutely, that's going to work for you. 10% of the time, the doctor's going to say, no, we already tried that, or no, there's a reason why you can't do this because of another drug that you're taking or something like that. And the doctor and MedTrack get together, authorize it, they can continue taking what they're taking. It's not telling them if, they're, if they can... They don't have to be taking this higher costing drug and one of the lower costing of the work, this moves people in that direction. If there's a reason they have to take that drug, and it's not a hard process. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be a battle or there's any, I mean, it's, it's pretty cut and dry. Um, one of the groups in Hutch that I work with uh, recently put this in, and there was an uproar the first few weeks, and as soon as we went through it, they had like 13 changes that were going to be made on employees. 
and all but one of them was satisfied. And the one that was satisfied, she just thinks that the more, and she flat told me, well, the more expensive it is, the better it works. And I just, you know, at that point I was like, I don't, I don't know what else I can say on that scenario. Um, but on the other 12 of them, they were not happy. And, and there will be some. But the reason why that's important is look right here on the rebates. If we're able to do that second one where it says select, on the second med track one, the standard would be going just like you are now, and we can increase your rebates. The, the med track second one there says select. That's, that's the exclusionary. That's what I'm showing you right here. You can get an additional, the plan can get an additional $9,000 in rebates by excluding some of those drugs for lower costing alternatives. The, 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 they're going to pay more. And if we went to Express Scripts and did the exact same thing and had used their exclusionary because they're so much bigger, they're going to get an additional 10000 So we're talking next year that we're, I mean, obviously this is 2017 data because I wanted a full year when I started this product. 2018, the mix, there might be a little bit more of a mix, but that means next year instead of getting $800 checks in the mail, um, like you get it every quarter. At the end of next year, when, because they always run about six months behind, so July, that check's going to be seven, eight thousand dollars that you get in the mail to put back into your claims account. The rebates that plan gets for this, um, and that's a that's a lot of money. That's why I wanted to make sure to bring this to you for discussion. It is there is disruption. With it, and you've been with Prescription Network for a long, long time. Again, they're wonderful people. We're already doing new cards for everybody because of the outpatient pre certification that we've got to do. We can change. I'm comfortable staying, and I know member disruption is a big, big thing. And so, but I, I wanted to share this with you because here's if I didn't share it with you, someone next year is going to walk in and say, hey, I can save you a bunch of money on your prescription drugs. Yeah. If we're going to change, uh, will there be any difference between going with these two, with the national company or the Medtrack? Well, it's just really from our standpoint, we have a dedicated, on both of those, we have a dedicated account management team just like we do with Prescription Network right now. So if we have issues or if we have... Um, uh, just anything that pops up, we've got a dedicated team. I'm comfortable with moving to either one. All three of them are wonderful to work with, even the national. Uh, they didn't used to be, and they completely, over the last three years, we've worked with them for about 10 years on a few groups. Um, in the last few years, they've become wonderful to work with. They, we've got our own account management team, and they get, they get us answers just as quick. The difference between going with these two would be if you went with the um, the exclusionary plan, you're going to save another ten thousand dollars, or you I say save, you're going to get an additional ten thousand dollars in rebates that are going to come back to the plan later on. It's not member. The in, there's never not going to be increase to the cost of the members, so there's none of that disruption. Um, there always can be. I can't remember. You a two tier prescription drug plan? Three tier. It's a three tier right now. So you're a three-tier prescription drug plan. There's always the ability that one that's on the middle tier right now may end up on the top tier, or one on the top tier may go to the middle tier. But those are all, they're, they've gotten pretty standard on where they're covered on the tiers, on the co-pays, you know, whether you're spending 15 or 30 or 45 dollars or whatever it is. Um, now there's a lot of changes going on, right? The, dial, the dialysis program is not, is not for the masses, right? The outpatient pre-certification is not going to be a big change for everybody. Um, if they just need to be aware of it, and we can, we have a we have a, we're gonna we're gonna give you um, um, a um, uh, a one-page slip that talks about it, as well as it'll be on their cards, their new cards, um, and so this would really be really from the nutshell. This would be the one big thing that would could stir up some some noise. So just for clarification on my 
Uh, mine. So if you have John Doe and he's taken some kind of a diabetes medicine and it's not on the list, there will be a paperwork or a form or something they'll take into their doctor and their doctor will say, we've tried this other form, that is, this other medicine that's been approved and it doesn't work. That's why we're on this more expensive one. The doctor sends that in and then they go ahead. And Absolutely. They're just one, they're just basically one of the people to change and the doctor goes, yeah, we can do this, and no problem. Yep. Okay. Yep. So where you deal with the people at the courthouse and everything, do you think there's going to be a lot of pushback to this, yeah. or make it be a good deal? And it's going to save you money, I guess. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, if they want their cost per month to go up, they can stand away we home. Because, I mean, we've basically been eating all the increases ourselves. So we need to try to do whatever we can. And this... It's pretty minimal, really, as far as... It's not been affected a lot of the Well, Mike, I noticed on this example, you have four four patients that are diabetic. Mm -hmm. They have blood sugar problems. Three asthmatic, two uh, ED, and one ulcer. Mm -hmm. That was ten. So you've got ten people with four different categories. Four of them are diabetic, three asthma, three ED, and one ulcer. Okay. So the Amepresol, it's pretty cheap. Good. Well, and it may not be, it may not be, and, I, and I, again, I'm not an expert on this, so, and I don't, don't have any of these, fortunately, right now, so, um, like this one here, that one for, is that, that right there very easily could be that this is a, whatever whatever it is, is it is a higher costing. I mean, that's that's the bottom line here, is I don't know why that would be on here right now, unless it's over-the-counter needs to be taken versus that or something. Yeah, yeah. It used uh -huh. to be $2.48 a capsule. It's now 14 days supply, it's 14 bucks. Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> he was a jerk. Oh! <laughs> He's a drug yeah. yeah. So, I mean, again, I, this is just a list that was given to me by looking at the claims. I, I don't know why specifically everything's on there that it, that it is, other than I'm just always what I've seen. And I, I will tell you that you you get probably I have a half dozen groups that have not implemented this type of program into their plan out of our. 90 some groups that we work with um, and I but again you guys have been just going right along um, this is a this you've got two opportunities I think within this renewal to save some money and this is one of them my suggestion would be to go at this and, and here's the thing we can always go back let's say a year from now you know what this doesn't this is not working for us um, or even halfway through the year. The worst case scenario is if you guys called me and said, hey, we don't want to do this, is that we've got to reprint new cards and, and, and move back on a certain date. You know, um, but it, it makes it makes a lot, I mean, $31,000, I mean, that's, that's almost time. cutting your drug spend on well, everybody else you, by half. You said this ESI is Express Scripts. Mm -hmm. See, they're, they're a huge PP. Right. And I think, Second like largest, I think. Have they been purchased by CVS? Uh, the division that I work with is not. Well, I think that that has it's gone through, right? It just recently yeah. was the approved. I don't think it's gone through. It was approved by um, whoever for those big mergers. I can't think of who it is that that does that. Well, you also. Yeah. Give me a flyer with information on any drug plan too. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll talk about the grandfather because that's the key thing is the grandfather. We don't want someone going in in January and go to fill their script for the first right. time and say, say, uh, uh, no, you can't have it, and then then not have some. So once we go through the first ninety days, whoever has filled a script will get communication mailed okay. to them that will say, hey, this is not covered anymore. You need to hear your other, and it's not usually one, it's usually multiple um, options. Take this back to your doctor, and if one of these will work, that'll be covered on the plan. If not, here's plan B, 
have your, you know, we right. can have okay. communications, right. reach I out. Think as long as it's crystal clear what they need to do or if they bring it in, we know what to tell them. We're saving money, you guys. That's the name well, of I have, I have no problem with, with this express. I don't price. think the employees yeah. are either. I mean, Four years ago, five years ago, I'd have told you from a customer service standpoint, their nightmare, do not go with them. And I am very confident in the team that we have that we work with there now. And our consultant is the one who brought that team. Well, they didn't bring that entire team to us, but they kind of put the team together, um, additional members that they bring to the table. So, no, I used Express Scripts. But then the company changed, you know, now uh, uh, yeah. the man. Express Chris has been, they, they've been, the last few years they've been very good. But um, you look at tier ones, tier twos, you know, there's, there's a, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of products available on tier one. You know, it's like going from Chevy to uh, a Cadillac. Yeah. They both work the same. I agree with you. Well, now we've got even some generic drugs that are more expensive than the brand new drugs, and so you know that's that's some of this right here is that from a generic standpoint is that yeah you're paying the <laughs> lower copay, but let's let's not let, let's exclude that right now because it costs more than the brand name drug costs. I don't know how they do that, but it is. I mean, yeah. Or all this, all this no, money. So, and, and really, from a standpoint of the change to that, and again, we'll provide you with all the information that you need. And I, I would even come out and talk to the, if you want me to come out and visit about the different pro, well, I don't know that we necessarily need to visit about the dialysis program at this time, but just to visit about the outpatient pre I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, give permission. Let me give you first so long when you do that. Out. <laughs> I mean, if we have, if we find that we're having a lot of issues, yeah, I'll have you come out. But this is going to be the one that if it's explained to them, they're going to say that's what it is. It is what it is. It's a, it's just a that's huge difference. Thirty grand is and thirty grand. grand. Thirty grand. The county's paying for that, so. And again, I, if there is a reason they have to stay on it, they will be able to stay on it. Absolutely. Right. And if they, That's, they know that. No. You might have to do a little extra paperwork. Right. Mm -hmm. but, but it's just a way of trying to, like you say, trying to keep your rates from having to increase or your benefits to change. And um, it's, it makes sense to do it. If you, went, if you went fully insured right now with Blue Cross or... Coventry or Aetna or anybody, it's automatically in there. Mm -hmm. All the fully insured plans have it. Um, and it's not a bad thing. Um, the only thing is with the fully insured, they don't give you the option. They just say it's not covered. And your plan is going to say, hey, if, it, if you absolutely have to have it for some reason, we're going to look for it. So, so I would say, if you're talking about doing that, so we've got three things. The dialysis program, the outpatient pre surg and the switch. And again, my recommendation would also be to take I'm comfortable with MedTrack or Express Scripts, but I would take the bigger savings, the bigger rebates. So. so, back to this first page with the current with two options. Uh -huh. uh, if we go up to the forty thousand dollar, which you already have, you approved right. that last. Yeah, we've already year. approved that, which that will be basically a twenty-four thousand dollar increase for the year. What we'll be paying, right? From this number to this number. Oh, yes. That's twenty-four thousand. But then, if we fund instead of going up with our funding, if we keep the funding at the current rate now, right here. Yeah. So we're only looking at twenty-four thousand dollar increase. Yes. Okay. Which would well, the express rates rebates. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Right. But on the twenty-four thousand dollar increase, which we're not saying it's too bad, say we roughly have fifty employees on insurance. I mean, it's about a thousand dollars. No, it only be a five hundred dollar increase. Okay. 
bad answer my question. I would maybe go with the dialysis addition, uh, outpatient recertification, and the express scripts prescription. Sorry. It's been moved and second. Yes. Okay. We enter in the agreement with the dialysis, the outpatient pre approval, and the ESI prescription plan. I'm fair to say aye. 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 Motion carry. Okay, you know, I'm going to tell you guys from a following standpoint, I'm very impressed with you guys. <laughs> because normally that conversation I was dreading all the way here is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and that, that is wonderful that you guys are in tune on that. So. I was just fighting. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Made it. Well, we'll be in touch soon then. Okay. All right. And thank you all very much. Appreciate it. All right. More. Have great a great day. day. Great Thanksgiving. Oh. Great. Great. No, thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Buddy had mentioned that he talked to this continent at uh, KAC. I got this proposal back um, the other day. I made you guys, you want to take this and read it? I don't think there's a time limit. You want to decide on it next week. He took pictures. He has exactly what they're going to do at a cost of $15,993. The above price shall be valid for a period of 60 days. Um, so are they going to fix this where the people have tried to take a point? Well, they did say. Yeah. Who did that? They did. They they didn't didn't they've done it for years. So they're going to fix what they did last year? Oh, they have been for years. So, um, I don't know. Like I said, you want to take this and study it. We don't have to decide this today. Um, it's working. Yeah, I'd like to at least chance to read this over. Okay. We'll put this on the agenda for next week to discuss this. Absolutely. Probably five, six years. I can look. I think um, five or six years. Because the last was was done over here. It was the chimney. I think right when I came on to the exactly. one. And they do like a quarter, one side of the building a year. Well, we did at that time. Yeah, but I think you, this you is for the whole thing. Yeah, you can do more. yeah, I think this is for... Because one year we did this side, the following year we did it for... Did he go up and look in the courtroom? I, Is that included? I also didn't know what was there. Hmm. I told him I called him. He called and said they were coming, but I don't know when they came. The last time we paid them was 2013. That's when I did it. Right when we first came out. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. I forgot to ask Mike about the Rose Valley. So we're still in attention. Okay, if there's anything else, we're adjourned.